Hey guys, today on the corner, I'm going to show you how to install a magnetic steel sheet on the Tronxy XY Pro. Alright, stay tuned. Alright, I'm really excited. I just received a package yesterday from AliExpress. Came in the mail. It contained my what do we call this here? It is a PEI Flex Build Platform with Magnetic Sticker. Okay, <laughs> so that's actually what it's called. Um, and it came in bubble wrap envelope. It came in a nice cardboard, pretty solidly wrapped. I got to say for AliExpress. It, um, it says Fred Gili, so clearly it's Italian, right? So, and there's quality there. Um, now, here is the original Tronxy fiberglass bed that I was never fond of and actually mine is actually not even level it's all wonky you can tell up by the leveling as well as when I actually had the auto leveler in the middle of the bed it actually didn't detect the steel sheet because the fiberglass is thicker here you can actually see the spots on the back where that is thicker um, so anyways so this bad boy arrived here let me um, I haven't even taken the packages off I'll just um, remove a couple of these corners here and it um, is flexible it's kind of thin but here so originally I ordered what is this this is 260 mil by 260 mil spring sheet um, it goes for I think it's 3817 US plus shipping I'm in Canada so I play a little bit different um, and as I say here's the original Tronxy sheet here is my replacement sheet. Let me just line them up here. And as you can see, now let me just line them up here. Uh, there you go. So it is just a hair bigger. So yeah, it's 250 by 250 is the Tronxy sheet, and this one is 260 by 260. So we're um, not too bad. I think it will fit just perfectly. I've seen some people in the Facebook groups who have used this, so I'm excited to give it a try and see how it works. So it comes with your steel sheet, basically, and the backing is a magnetic pad. Let me see if I can just separate these here. So yeah, so the backing is a magnetic pad, um, and with a sticker, so you just literally, you take the sticker, you take the paper off the back of the sticky magnetic bed, and you place it directly on to your hotbed, and then you'll just lay on your... Um, your steel sheet on top of that. Now let's have a look at the steel sheet because I'm kind of curious here. And take the magnetic backing off. Um, it does look rather thin actually. Do I have a crucial sheet here somewhere? Um, okay. Let's see here. Oh, that's the king. Here's the Prusa sheet. Um, so, you know, yeah, it looks, it's, okay, so this is the Prusa sheet. I'm flexing that. This has way more flex, it's quite a bit thinner. It's not too bad though, I've seen worse. Um, I have the, well not worse, let me rephrase that. I, I've seen thin. All right, this is um, the King version three, I think. You can get this off of uh, eBay. Um, and this is his powder coated sheet, which is a bit thinner than the Prusa sheet. And this is about the same thickness. So it, this does a good job. I'm sure this will be just fine. Now let's have a closer look here. Okay, uh, as the plastic backing, I'm peeling away and looking at. So I believe PEI. I'm looking actually. I don't know if you can peel that back. You see that corner there? They haven't really done a great, great job of installing um, the PEI sheet. It looks a little bit loose in the corner there. Um, hopefully it doesn't peel off. I'm sure it will be fine. Um, yeah, all four corners are like that, actually. It looks like, because the corners, here, let me take this plastic cover off. So here, um, go there. And again, I'll put a link in the description for, um, this build plate there you go see the PEI okay so the corners are beveled but it looks like they cut the PEI straight 
Uh, I think I might just clean that up with a bit of a knife. Um, and the PEI is only on the one side. You can see the line here. I know you're getting a bit of a glare. That's because I got the big light on here because I wanted to make sure everything's good and proper. See, I don't want to blind you at all. Um, but yeah, overall, it looks okay. I don't see any bubbles in the PEI. There's a couple rough spots around the outside edges. But, um, oh yeah, and this is, what is it? It's Enerjack. Uh, let's see if you can see that here. There you go. Enertech. Energy Tech, 3D, Energy Tech, Energy Tech, 3D, <laughs> whatever, okay, the link will be in the description below in the video, okay, but you know what, I'm excited to try this, so we're going to give it a shot, and we're going to um, install it, alright, and then we'll run a test print, and we'll see how that goes. Alright, so this is my trunk, see, it's all set up here, I've uh, removed the fiberglass plate, I got the bill clips over here. I am ready to apply the um, the magnetic bed. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab a paper towel and some isopropanol alcohol, 99%. And I'm just going to clean off the bed just to um, try to eliminate any um, oils or anything, debris, dirt, whatever that's been on there. So I'm going to give that a quick wipe. And I'm just going to let that dry. Like this is really super simple, right? Like we're talking, um, this is probably less than a five minute install, if that, right? Whoops, I dropped that. So I make sure that's dry before you move on to the next step. So here is the magnetic pad. So what I'm gonna do is I am just gonna line up the magnetic pad nice and easy and quick. Um, again, I just want to make sure that we're not going to be like this or like this or anything. The magnetic pad is actually a couple of millimeters bigger on each side. I think that's going to be fine. Um, all right, let's get to it, right? So we're going to peel. Now what I'm going to do is basically I'm peel off just a little bit on one side to sort of get it started. So I know I want to overlap just a hair on all four corners here and then I just want to make sure as I place this down that I have a minute overlap on all four corners all right so we're gonna pull that out a bit more so we overlap 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 and we'll just pull the sheet away all right all right between the two uprights is approximately the same, all right? And then you're going to make sure that you move very smoothly back and forth, all right? So I think we're good here. Oops. Rearrange Mr. Tronxy here. I have it in a cabinet, so I really want to make sure I am able to and pull it all the way back and all the way forward so yeah so that's it so she's on let's get the PEI sheet on all right we're gonna just literally drop that down and make sure she's lined up now the only thing that I not well it's okay but uh, I guess I'm spoiled with the uh, MK3S is it has um, two little pins at the back and a little notch that you can slide the sheet into. Um, this you'll just drop it down onto. That looks good. So we're gonna run a test print, I guess. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna clean the bed. I'm just gonna pour a little IPA on there. All right. Only because we wanna make sure there's no contaminants or anything on there. We're going to go clean it, just give it a quick little wipe down. And let's start a quick little test print here. Uh, what do we got on this card here? Uh, so we're running Marlin. Um, I really like the fact... Oh, let's just run a Benchy. There we go. 
and we'll print a benchy. So we're gonna come back in a bit and see how that sucker turns out, okay? One. All right, so I'm back, the benchy's done. Um, got my little purge line here, seems to be okay. Now let me see if I take this benchy and I flex the sheet. Mind you, the benchy does have a bit of a small um, profile, so. But yeah, no, for um, under 35 bucks US, um, I think this would be a great addition to your um, your Troxy, right? Comes out nice and smooth on the bottom. I don't know here. Can we? Uh, there we go. All right. Uh, my Z's a little too low. I can tell that right away. But it's not too bad, right? So, so for thirty-five bucks US, um, ship delivered to your house. I think this is a. Uh, Decent little product for your um, Tronxy. It gives you a nice little magnetic build plate. Um, comes off and on. Uh, nice little PEI sheet. Um, you know, so if you um, like this video, uh, leave a comment below. Um, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you got something going on the other printers for another, another video. Um, and we will um, talk to you guys later. Okay, peace out.